Welcome back to another kids craft video. Today we are talking about Valentine's Day. So let's go! We are going to start with this candy bubblegum machine. And here's everything that you are going to need. So you're going to need a pot or a cup of some sort. You're going to need a glass bowl or a clear ornament. And then you're going to need either a lid or you can use the bottom of your flower pot for the lid as well and you can add like a little knob on the top. You're going to need some E6000 glue or some type of glue that will hold glass. And then you're going to need some candy or gum to fill. And if you wanted to just use this as a decorational piece, you can use some pom-poms. And here's everything that I am using to decorate with. Okay, so you're going to start by gluing. <laughs> you're cute. Okay, so we are going to glue our bowl on top. So I'm going to help Alistair with this part just because this E6000 glue is, you know, pretty strong. So yeah. Yeah. I'll use this without a parent. <laughs> I would recommend letting this dry for just a little bit, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and fill ours now. And that's my challenge. So this is kind of what it would look like if you just use pom-poms, super cute, but we are going to fill ours with candy and then we will decorate. I added a little ribbon and now I am going to add this little chalkboard label, it says sweet treats, 25 cents. I hope you like this part, this closet. So for the faux stained glass heart, you are going to need two pieces of either designer paper or you can use cardboard and you can decorate or paint it. You're going to need some sort of plastic. You can totally use saran wrap if that's all you have. Um, I just have, you can't really see here because it's see-through. I just used an old page protector and I already cut the heart shape out. You're going to need either tissue paper or I am using coffee filters because I have a ton left over from the heart wreath that I made, but tissue paper, paper would be great. You're gonna need some tape, a hole punch, and some ribbon or string. So this one's real easy. So this one's pretty easy too. Let's get right into it. I always seem to forget to tell you guys something. You're also going to need some scissors and an X-Acto knife will make this very easy. You're going to need some Mod Podge as well. So you're going to start out by cutting your heart frame. So basically I did one. I went ahead and cut the plastic out as well and I would at least prep this far depending on the age of the kid. I'm just gonna trace around here and then I'll cut this one out with my X-Acto knife. So you're going to flip one side over and go around the edges and you're going to tape on the plastic to one side. You do just wanna make sure that it is stretched across the heart as tight as it can be. And now you're going to add a thin layer of Mod Podge. Okay, Alistair, go ahead and cover the heart with the tissue paper. So now you have two options. You can either let this dry, and the Mod Podge does give a really cool texture, so it will, it will look perfectly fine like this. And then you will put your top frame on top, or if you wanted, you can use a second piece of plastic, and mine's crumbled, but I'm just going to use it anyways. I already had it cut out, and I'm going to place mine on top, and since the Mod Podge is there, it's going to stick just fine, and then I will place the top frame over. So now we are going to punch a hole in the top, add our ribbon, and you are good to go. This looks really, really cute, just hanging anywhere, but especially in front of a window, because the sun is going to shine through and give a really awesome effect, just like stained glass. You're going to need some craft paper. You're going to need two little heart shapes for the wings. You're going to need a triangle piece for the nose. You're going to need two eyes. Of course, you can use paper if you wanted to just draw some on with markers or whatever. You're going to need scissors, glue or Mod Podge, some ribbon, 
and anything that you wanted to decorate this with. And we are actually using the craft paper to cover our toilet paper roll, but you can also paint it or use stamps and just use what you have. I'm going to start by covering this toilet paper roll. That's mommy sounded. So now that you have your toilet paper roll covered or painted, really all there is left to do is you're going to fold in these two corners just like this. And this is going to create the ears. What? Can I do that? Just like this. And it pretty much stays like this. You don't have to use any glue. But I also want to add a ribbon on top so that you can hang this up for a decoration. So you can basically just stick this in like so. Okay, Alistair, it's your turn to decorate. And here's just one more simple idea for you guys. Alistair already made this at preschool last week, but it's just a really cute Valentine's Day mailbox. And so simple, we just took an old shoe box, you can use any box, and we covered it with some designer paper. And then he decorated it with stickers and stamps and little eyeballs. And this is just something really, really easy that you can do with your kids. So I figured I would share this idea as well. So I absolutely had to include these photos of a kissing booth that I made for last Valentine's Day. And this would be perfect for a photo prop or if you were having like a preschool or kid Valentine's Day party. And I figured that even without a tutorial, you guys would be able to figure out how to make this. Um, there's probably a lot of Pinterest links that you could look up as well. But basically I just use cardboard for the sign and I use some stencils for the lettering that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then the wooden crates that you see there, that's actually my coffee table and it's just sideways. So you could either use another box, which would actually be perfect for it. Or if you do have some crates, you could stack those up. Really just use what you have and um, just have fun decorating it. I loved having that and it was so cute. These are a couple of Alistair's friends and we had them over for some pictures one day. And then I did also make these love signs that are supposed to kind of look like Scrabble pieces and I just thought that was another cute idea for photo props. So I hope you will try some of these ideas from your kids. And if you do, find me on Instagram and be sure to tag me so I can see your cuties. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.